Yes, well now that I've seen Dr. Quack Stinky, I'm feeling a lot better. And he did say that my symptoms would disappear in a few days. Oh, it's the Poppets. Hello, my little Poppets, mums and dads. And welcome, of course, back to story time. Well, I suppose you're looking at me and wondering why I'm looking so tigery. And I am sorry to say, my dear ones, that I have caught tigeritis. Yes, I know, tigeritis of all things. I have caught tigeritis. But do not fear, my dear ones, because I have seen Dr. Quack and he told me that I should return to normal in a week or two. But I have to say, Stinky, apart from being a little bit itchy, dear, and uh, sort of wanting to claw at things, I quite like looking like a tiger. I think I'd like to stay this way. What's that? You don't want me to look like a tiger? Yes, well, I've got lovely orange skin and black stripes. What's that? You're afraid I might eat you? No, I have eat you stinky but I must say I do like the black stripes well my dear poppets speaking of tigers for story time today I am happy to say that we have another book request that's right we have had a book request from a little poppet called Monty and his mum Audrey so Audrey and Monty the book request for today is called the tiger who came to tea the tiger who came to tea and very fitting stinky with today especially as i have caught tiger itis and Bo is in a tigery mood as well and she's here to join us for story time so audrey and monty thank you so much for this book request i'm looking forward to reading the tiger who came to tea once again and of course my dear poppets to go with our story, we have a wonderful cake here with the tiger and the dear little poppet there on the very top. And I must mention also, boys and girls, I know I am waffling on just a bit, but I have to mention today is a very special day because today is Mother's Day. So I want all those poppets right now to get nice and comfy with their mummy and to get ready for today's story. Well, Stinky, I suppose I should get uh, you comfortable, dear. You should go and perhaps settle down there um, and have a rest if you're feeling a little bit tired. Are you feeling tired? What's that? You're tired from looking after me? Yes, you have been a good boy, I have to say. been giving me lots of drinks to keep up my fluids and you have been looking after me. Will you get nice and comfy, dear, and we'll crack on my poppets with today's story. The tiger who came to tea. This does look like a cracker, I have to say, and I do particularly like this book. It is a good one. Now, Bo, you get nice and comfy too, dear, and we'll crack on with the story. And here we go, my dear poppets. There once was a little girl called Sophie, and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Well, there's Sophie there, the dear poppet there, and she's having some tea with her mummy because it's tea time. And there they are sitting together there at the table having a lovely hot cup of tea. And I do believe there's a delicious cake there and some other baked goods. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Yes, well, they better open the door, my dear Poppets, and see who is there. I don't know. I think they might be in for a bit of a surprise, I think. Who on earth is at the door? Sophie opened the door and there was a big furry stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in as you do if a tiger appears at your door. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Well, there's Sophie there with the wonderful stripy tiger there and they're all going to have tea together. How wonderful having a tiger at tea time. Yes, and he's a very big tiger too very very large tiger. Sophie's mummy said would you like a sandwich? 
But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich, he took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Oh, oh, swallowed them all at once, my dear poppets. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. Well, there he is there and oh yes, my dear poppets. He can't wait to tuck into those buns because he's still hungry. Yes, it's going to take a lot to fill this tiger up, I think. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all of the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. Yes, and there he is there. And he's now drinking all of the tea. Look at that. By the time this tiger's finished, there isn't going to be anything left. No, he's very, very hungry. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. And there's Sophie there, and she's giving the tiger a wonderful hug, giving the tiger a cuddle. I suppose his fur would feel lovely and soft. Yes, great big tiger that he is. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. Well, there he is there and he's lying on top of the fridge and he has eaten everything in the fridge so there's going to be nothing left very, very soon. He is so very hungry. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. Well, there he is there and he's looking very, very greedy indeed and now he's eating all the packets and everything that is in the tins in the pantry because he's still very very hungry and he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all daddy's beer and all the water in the tap oh he's still going he's drinking everything in the house and there he is there drinking the water from the tap look at that and he's still hungry. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And he has, my dear poppets. And there's the tiger there, waving goodbye as he walks out the door. And he's eaten everything there is, everything in the kitchen. And there's nothing left for poor daddy. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. And there's dear old dad there taking off his hat. He's got a wonderful trench coat on there. It's probably a little bit nippy outside, I'd say. And he's going to be in for a dreadful shock when he finds that he doesn't have any supper. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drank all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to a cafe. Yes, what a splendid idea. They can go to a cafe to have their supper. Lovely to go to a cafe for a treat sometimes. Yes, wonderful. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to the cafe and there's dear old mum and dad there with sweet little Sophie as they head down to the cafe to have their supper. How marvellous, yes. How exciting. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. And there's mum there. She's got a basket full of groceries there, lots of food to put back in the fridge and in the cupboard. And dear sweet little Sophie has bought some tiger food just in case the tiger should return, because he very well might. But he never did, 
and it says goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. But you never know, my dear Poppets, he might come back one day. The end, and that was called The Tiger Who Came to Tea. An absolute splendid book, I have to say, and I did enjoy reading that again very, very much. Well, did you enjoy that bow? You did! Oh, I thought you did. This is a particularly favourite, isn't it? It's a favourite one of yours. You do like that one. I remember that, yes. Well, thank you, Audrey and Monty, for requesting this book, The Tiger Who Came to Tea. I do love book requests, as you very well know, so thank you so much for this book request and very, very fitting, as you can see, for today. Well, I'd better have a chat to Stinky. Oh, yes, he's down here nibbling on cheese. Stinky, my dear. Did you enjoy that book, dear? You did. What's that? You don't want me to look like a tiger? Yes, I know. You're quite upset about it. But Stinky, I have... Oh, look, Bo's laughing. Oh, she thinks it's very funny. Now, look, I have seen Dr. Quack, dear, and the orange will go away and the stripes and I'll have the same old funny face like I normally have. This is just a temporary thing, dear. All right, it's just part of the virus, but it will soon pass and I'll be back to my old self again as good as new. All right, then? What's that? You think the stripes might be a slight improvement? Oh, stinky. Oh, you're a naughty boy. You really are. Oh, what am I going to do with you? I do not know. Well, stinky, we've come to the end of story time, so you know what we have to do now, don't you? What's that? We have to say goodbye to the poppets. Yes, we do. Well, mums and dads, and of course, dear poppets, thank you so much for tuning in for story time. And I hope that you, my dear sweet poppet, little Monty, enjoyed that book request because we certainly did. So I hope you enjoyed the story. Perhaps you could read a book about a tiger who came to tea or make a story time cake with a tiger on the very top. Or perhaps you might catch tigeritis. Fingers crossed that won't happen. And as always, my dear ones, until next time, 